Let's ultrasound. On today's edition, let's discuss general ultrasound and how to label an ultrasound image. Let's discuss the ultrasound annotation rules for general ultrasound. There's four things that you'll want to include on your ultrasound image. The first thing is the transducer orientation. Are you taking sagittal, transverse, or coronal slices through the body? Next, you wanna clearly label the area of interest that you're focusing on. Are you in the right lobe of the liver, the gallbladder, the uterus, the left ovary, the pancreas? Your area of interest is not only the star of your image, it should also be the star of your annotation. And note that if there's more than one of your area of interest in the body, then it must include directional information. For example, if you're talking about the pancreas, there's only one pancreas, so you can simply say pancreas. However, if your area of interest is the ovary, you need to specify whether you're in the right or the left ovary. And if your area of interest is is the liver, you need to include which liver lobe you're focusing on. The third thing that should be included within your general ultrasound image annotations are the segment or the region that you are within that organ or structure. And these are directional words such as proximal aorta, distal, SFA, transverse right kidney mid. Words used in this category should be proximal, mid, distal, superior, inferior, anterior, posterior, medial, lateral, lateral, etc. So not only do you need to include if you're in the left or the right kidney, but if you're transverse within that left or right kidney, you also need to specify whether you're in a superior, mid, or inferior position. And lastly, when annotating a general ultrasound image, you want to specify the position that the patient is lying in. Is your patient in a supine or a prone position? Are they upright? Are they left lateral decubitus or right lateral decubitus? Or are they in a right posterior oblique or or left posterior oblique, or are they standing up? Positioning is important to many types of general ultrasound, especially when trying to show whether or not anything moves within a change in position. Such as when evaluating the gallbladder, you must always include images of the gallbladder within two different patient positions to demonstrate whether or not there's any gallstones hiding within the gallbladder neck that are suddenly visible with a change in patient position and or to demonstrate that sludge and gallstones within the gallbladder are mobile with a change in patient position. So positioning information can be really helpful for demonstrating change when imaging different areas of the abdomen. The very last thing is putting all this information together. An example of this would be transverse right kidney inferior supine. That's all for now. Happy annotating. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And tune in on Wednesdays for new videos.